Hi everyone, Joe the Harp here with lesson three, which is about playing some simple tunes using the technique known as chord melody. So just to recap, what we've talked about so far is how to hold the harmonica, how to touch the harmonica with your mouth, and how to breathe. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about some simple tunes that you can obtain on the harmonica in first position before we get to the important lesson which is about mastering playing only one single note at a time right now i could have done some simple tunes after that lesson but i thought i'd do it now for the reason that some people struggle with playing only one single note on the harmonica and they can get a little bit discouraged playing and i want to take away the message that there's musical stuff that you can do in the meantime even without playing single notes, just by literally breathing into and out of the harmonica. You can make music, as you heard me do right at the top of this lesson. Now, I should say that all of the tunes we'll be doing in this lesson, and possibly another lesson as well, are in first position. Now, first position means they are in the key of the harmonica itself. When I say the key of the harmonica itself, you can see normally um, embossed at the top of the harmonica, the letter, in this case, this is a C harmonica. Now the diatonic harmonica, like the guitar, like the piano, is a chord instrument. And I've often thought yet another amazing, unique thing about this magical instrument that we all love so much is it's probably got to be about the smallest chord instrument there is, yeah? So when we say chord instrument, we mean you can get more than one note at a time off it. Whereas on a piano, the very first thing a beginner will do is they'll play one note at a time, ding, 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 plink, 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 and then eventually you start playing more than one note at a time, you bring in the chords later. It's the other way around with the harmonica. We start off being unable to play a single note. We present our lips to the harmonica and we hear more than one note. That shouldn't get you down because there is plenty that we can do if all we can do is get several notes. The way the harmonica is designed, very deliberately, is that you've got relatively small holes to play through. That means that when you present your average sized mouth to the harmonica, you typically are hearing three holes being played. And this was very deliberate. Three is an important number in chords. Common chords, are typically formed of three notes and they're sometimes called triads. What they wanted to do when they came up with the diatonic, they wanted to create a means of easily getting chords. The reason why not being able to yet get the single notes shouldn't put us off trying to attempt making music on the harmonica is this funny bit of hearing psychology, which is that all things being equal, when the average human hears a chord, what they will take away as being the most important of the three notes they hear is the top note. For example, etc. If I now play that with chords, but I make sure that the top note is the tune note, it goes like this. Yeah, and you can recognisably hear something about Michael Rowe the Boat Shore there, can't you? Yeah, your brain isn't too distracted by the other notes going on in the chord. Okay, so the technique we're talking about here is called chord melody. Very simple. It's playing a tune where the top note of the chord that you're playing is the actual note of the tune or the note of the melody. Now, the technique works best with tunes which are kind of down in the bottom two thirds of the harmonica. Yeah, so the first two octaves of the harmonica. The reason it's not quite so good at the upper echelons is because we will typically on the draw be going over holes six and seven and hole six and seven, if you play them together, ooh, that's a discord, yeah? There's two notes that are side by side that don't sound very pleasant on the ear. Unfortunately, down in that, that first octave of the harmonica, there are two really important notes that are missing, yeah? So for a C harmonica, those are F and A. So this means that our list of candidate tunes is tunes in first position down here, which don't use an F or an A in the bottom octave. 
which actually turns out to be quite a short list of tunes, which is why it's quite important either to play with single notes, in which case you can avoid the discord up here, or bending notes, because then you can fill in those missing notes down there. So we are quite limited whilst we can't play single notes and we can't bend notes. No need to give up, there is stuff that we can achieve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a couple of tunes and as I do so I'm going to tell you about what the topmost note ought to be of the chord. So I'm going to write the tab as if you could master doing one note only but if I say blow four on the tab for example and you're playing a chord it means let blow four be the topmost note so typically that might be blow two three and four but we've made sure that four is the top note so the first tune we're going to look at is arguably the most famous tune on the harmonica yeah and it is the famous O oh, Susanna so let me just demonstrate it to start off with with single notes That's a nice bit of music isn't it? No single notes, no bending, quite achievable. Just a little bit on technique by the way whilst I was doing that you might have noticed I was doing some nice sharp beginnings to the notes or the chords rather and the simple way of doing that is tonguing so it's t -t 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 -t. it's got a nice sharp beginning to it. Just to go through the tab for that tune then it starts blow four, draw four, blow five, blow six, blow six, like this. And then draw six, blow six, blow five, blow four. And then draw four, blow five, blow five, draw four, blow four, draw four. The second verse is much the same as the first. I'm just going to play it a little bit more slowly, just a very slight change to the last line of the verse. Next section is draw five, draw five, draw six, draw six, and then blow six, blow six, blow five, blow four, draw four. And then a repetition of the first section. Okay, so just for clarity, I was playing that all with single notes, but remember, if you're playing with chords, it's gonna have a bigger, fuller sound like this. So the second tune I'd like to introduce you to is Michael Row the Boat Ashore, okay, which sounds like this. And played with chord melody, sounds like this. So the first line goes like this, blow four, blow five, blow six, blow five, blow six, draw six, blow six.
Second line goes blow five, blow six, draw six, blow six. The third line is blow five, blow six, blow six, blow five, draw five, blow five, draw four. And then the last line, blow four, draw four, blow five, draw four, blow four. So those are a couple of really cracking tunes for the harmonica, you know, classic, you can imagine them playing around a campfire at night with a bit of atmosphere going on. Perfectly good music you can play even before you can obtain a single note. You might have noticed as I was doing that, I was making full use of wah-wah effects, yeah, as we discussed in holding the harmonica, yeah, you can do that just as well for chords as you can for single notes. You can sometimes overdo these techniques, of course, but, you know, have fun, try all those things out as well. And I hope that's been a helpful lesson to you. So the next lesson is going to be a few more tunes just to keep you entertained. And then we'll be getting on to the all important lesson about playing single notes. OK, see you later.